Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the first two weeks in April, so April 1st through the 15th. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you, and the timing is still fluid. I just, just uh, lotioned up my hand, so I'm not sure if I got it all rubbed in. I think I did. Anyhow, um, Aquarius, the sun, moon, rising, and Venus, first two weeks in April. What do we have? I already did one April reading. It will be tagged to the end of this. And if you would like to purchase this deck, the link will be in the description box below. I do have a shipment. I have a huge shipment coming. So, anyhow, what do we have? For Aquarius. Well, we got some that came flying out. Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn this month or somebody's taking on a Capricornian energy. Um, this is about stability, climbing a mountain, um, perseverance, hard work. Ah, this is only lust. So you could be dealing with somebody that you are involved with that is very sexual okay it could be a sexual connection capricorn we do know is ruled by you know i think it's ruled by saturn but it's also um i think it's saturn it could be pluto no it's saturn anyhow um it's the devil card in the tarot so there's there's lust here there's lust there's greed there's obsession there's sex addic addictions um something is going on here it looks like it's it's well according to those it's only lost they have serious regrets for hurting you block them you need to block somebody it looks like this person has capricorn in their chart okay and it's not like it's uh, it's either capricorn sun moon rising okay um it's this is only a connection it doesn't look like it's a love connection I, maybe they maybe they cheated on you, uh, you know. Maybe they have a sex addiction, and they cheated on you, and they regret it. But you know, once a cheater, always a cheater, right? Um, I feel like you need to block somebody. Uh, you do, obviously you need to block somebody. All right. There's no excuse. Okay. There's no excuse. Um, and so they, that card could represent kind of like the devil card. I'm not saying that all Capricorns are the devil. I have Capricorn Moon. Okay, I am Capricorn Moon, but this is like a energy of, of I, I just want to keep saying the devil card. You know what I mean? It's like there's, there's something here that is toxic, that is unhealthy, that needs to be removed from your life. So what do we have for Aquarius? Princess of Pentacles reversed, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Not stable, insecure, wandering eye, dead end. You're dealing with somebody that has a wandering eye. They they aren't, uh, they're blocking you, okay? They're blocking you from success. This person lacks integrity, okay? You're dealing with somebody that does not have integrity. They don't follow through with things. Princess of Cups, so Page of Cups. Three of Cups. I don't know if somebody has cheated or they've involved you in a third party situation. That's what it looks like to me. I mean, that's that's a third party interference. I feel like there's socializing, dating, getting together with somebody. You know, I feel I feel like there's third party interference here. There's somebody could be socializing, you know, communicating on social media. They lack integrity. You're dealing with somebody that lacks integrity, Aquarius. This is somebody that is it feels like somebody is looking for sex and sex only. 
This is not somebody that is stable. They're not secure. They probably have their own insecurities. They like to mingle. They like to party. They have a lot of friends. They socialize. This is somebody that may drink a lot. You may have somebody that drinks a lot. Maybe they got drunk and had sex with somebody. What is this? We have socializing, getting together with friends, partying, something not working out with that page of pentacles reversed. Maybe it's just too hard. This person doesn't want to climb the mountain. You know, when I said this Capricorn is about climbing the mountain, it's going to be hard work. It's not easy. The page of pentacles in reverse is not doing it. I don't feel like doing it. Not doing it. I'd rather just be lazy and complacent and not follow through and give up and just you know, have fun and play. I think that you're dealing with somebody that is very playful. You know, they like to play with others. No commitment. Harrow font reversed. Lack of, we could have a broken marriage here, a broken commitment here. We have somebody that is having a hard time doing the right thing. They are not really committed. This is somebody that is not very spiritual. They're driven by society. Queen of Cups reverse. Emotionally unavailable. You're dealing with somebody that's emotionally unavailable. And I feel like this is heartbreaking. It is. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very shallow, very manipulative. This person has a victim mentality. They're hypersensitive. Uh, they don't master their emotions well. They need attention. You're dealing with somebody that is not really committed to the relationship. They're not really committed to the commitment. Okay, they're not emotionally in it. They're not in it with their heart. This isn't this is this isn't a heartfelt connection. It's more this person is playing, okay? They're very, very playful, flirty, socializing, having fun. But this person has doesn't have anything real solid to offer you. And I feel like this week, you know, you may be in your emotions. This This is right now. This is a very emotional time. I feel like I feel like you may receive a message. Okay, there's mess pages or messages. You have two pages here. You may receive a message about somebody that you have feelings for, that they have engaged with a third party, with somebody else. You may receive that message, okay? If you haven't received it already. I feel like this person um, has some sort of addiction Okay, there's some sort of codependency here. Your, your person has a codependency. That they can't break free from. They don't want, they're not even trying to break free from it. You know, they don't, they don't follow through with the plan. You know, they just don't follow through. Because they're so playful. They like to have fun. They like the social attention. They like to socialize. You're dealing with somebody that... Um, is very flirty as well. They flirt a lot. No commitment. I mean, this could be a broken marriage, a broken commitment. This is heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking. You may be heartbroken. I do believe that you are going to receive some sort of information or a message in regards to somebody that you're dealing with that, you know... Um, Put you in your feelings. Put it that way. Unexpected choice in love. There is another lover here. The lovers. There is a lover here. Somebody has a lover. They do. You need to investigate. Is it really worth it? Is it worth investing in somebody, you know, when there's somebody else? There is third party interference here and you have to make a choice. This is, do you want to invest in this? This is a dead end. You have dead end twice. Somebody needs to relocate. They need to plant their seeds someplace else. There's no growth here. There's no reason to stay here. It's time to move on. You have to make a choice this week. 
whether you want to engage, what do you want to do? I feel like you have another opportunity as well. This card wouldn't be here. This is the future. You have another opportunity for love with somebody that you are more compatible with. But I see a breakup here. I do think there's a breakup. I do with the Hierophant reversed. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini. You may have another, a new opportunity with a Gemini or your person that we are talking about is dealing with a Gemini. We have an angel that is bringing two people together that are meant to be together. But you're going to have to make a choice. You are. You're going to have to make a choice in regards to... Uh, whether you want to start over or not with somebody else. This is, this is a decision that, this is success unfulfilled. I think that you have invested in something for quite some time. And it's hard to go someplace else when you've invested. But I feel like it's, it's over. You aren't going to get any more out of this. You're not. It's time to go someplace else. So anyway, I feel like this week there's an unexpected choice in love. There is. Somebody has a new lover that is better suited for them. We could have a broken engagement here. Somebody's been socializing, could be on social media. Somebody's been doing something. They have, they've been doing something and I feel like you know, this is uh, heartbreaking. I think it's heartbreaking information. This is a disgrace. It is. I think we have a broken commitment here or something. Yeah, that's what I see. And I see, I think that's happening because somebody has chosen another lover. Or they have an, a new love that has entered their life. It's very sudden. I do feel like it is sudden. We have a new commitment here. We do. This is the end of a commitment and a new commitment. Somebody is committing themselves to another path. The advice is to block this person and move on. There's, a, there's another option here that is better suited for you. There is. I feel like somebody's been messaging somebody, you know, maybe they've been on a dating site or messaging somebody on social media or maybe they even had sex with somebody. I mean, there is sexual energy here. I feel as though uh, somebody could also be reuniting with somebody from their past. They could be. I feel like this week you are going to be uh, thinking about what your next step is. Thinking about relocating, thinking about planting your seed someplace else. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is all about abundance, comfort, home. I think there's going to be a change in your living circumstances. I feel like you will receive family support. Somebody may have stayed in a commitment because of the family or for the family. Somebody may have married into money, married just for money or gotten into, or they may have considered getting married just for the money. 
But I think we have a change here. I do think we have a change. I think we have a uh, wishy-washy individual here who is not emotionally available that is player. This person is a player. They like to play. This person likes to mingle. They like to socialize. They like to have fun. They're not ready for a commitment or they no longer want to be in a commitment. I do think there's a separation and I think there's a new opportunity here and that's exactly what we got. I think there's a change in living circumstances or there will be a discussion of it. Somebody may to be told to block a lover because they get caught. That's not going to work. That's not going to work out. Queen of Pentacles, Reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're either dealing with a water sign or an earth sign by the looks of it. This is unstable, insecure, somebody that is just after money. They're after money and they're after everything but love. Okay, this person is not totally not emotionally available. They are more interested in everything but love, put it that way. You got somebody here that is overly materialistic. They're selfish. They may be controlling. And they're only in it to say that they have something. This is not practical. It's not realistic. It's irresponsible. You're dealing with somebody that isn't loyal. Oh my God. You're going to have to make a choice. You're going to be having to make a choice. I feel like you're going to find out some information about whoever this person is that you are dealing with. And I think it's going to be disheartening. Somebody may be in a, in, in a commitment just because of, for traditional reasons, you know. But I don't, I think there's another option. There's a better option here. You're going to, you're going to be faced with another option, another choice. You're going to have to make a choice in regards to your future success, in regards to your abundance, in regards to your future wealth. Do you want to engage yourself with somebody that is a flirt? You know, that wants to have fun and play with others? Or do you want something long-term and stable that is more aligned with your values? So I feel like this week, you know, you may, if you haven't heard the information already, I think you're going to receive some information or you're going to see something that is heartbreaking and changes your view on whoever it is that you're dealing with. That's, that's what I got. Good luck.